My name is Hakan. I'm the founder and director of Akta Festival, which is Istanbul's only international arts festival for children and young people. We are here for our workshops with Unga Clara. Uh, the participants came from different theatre companies, from different cities in Turkey. We received applications and we went through them and then we selected the participants we have today. I think Istanbul is a very interesting city because uh, partly because it's both European and uh, Middle Eastern or Asian and also because of the situation right now for theatre workers and journalists there. Working with children and children's theatre is a really important uh, mission. Also trusting children's own uh, capability of uh, experiencing art. I guess the ambition of the project is to, to spread knowledge about theatre for children and young people. Always when you meet the new uh, theatre scene, it's interesting to see how they approach uh, their audience, the children. The first exercise of the day is called Clichés of Children's Theatre. The next step is to create the most cliché theatre you can think of for, for children. My name is Ali. I'm an actor and also a director. We were four people in my group and uh, we tried to rehearsal a Red Riding Hood uh, and we tried to make the clichés. Uh, wonderful, thank you very, very much. So much things that are similar to, to our cliches. Overacting. Uh, oh, everything is overacting. It's <laughs> like this. Where is the wolf? I don't, that, that thing, that's everywhere. So yeah. When you hide. And... It's over there. <laughs> Which is really very much uh, projecting stupidity on the audience. So you're infantilizing it uh, to show that it's a child, but every every child is different from another. Uh, spread out uh, on the floor and uh, lie down. Actually, I want you to, in your mind, pick up a photo album with pictures from this time. Turn the pages in the album and glance at the photos of you when you were six, seven, eight or nine. The Memories for Use exercise came when Susan Austin discovered that her actors weren't so interested in other children, but they were interested in themselves and their own childhood, of course. Adım Zeynep. Oyuncuyum. Oyunculuk bitirdim. Aklıma gelen fotoğrafı size anlatayım. İlk okuldayken, ben ilk okuldayken, sanıyorum üçüncü sınıfta falandım. En yakın arkadaşım bana gelip artık bu şehirde yaşamayacağını, dolayısıyla artık ayrılacağımızı, görüşemeyeceğimizi söylemişti. Tek başıma kalmıştım. Böyle olmuştu. O zaman da. Ay. Evet. When we do the memories for use, um, it's it's always like I'm watching the these adults sitting there and telling about what happened when they were children, and I can I can see the child. Um, I can I look at the adult's face, and I just see this this child um, telling about how my grandmother's garden used to look like, or, or the smell of the, the room I had when I was seven years old. It's really beautiful.
The purpose of the last part of the workshop is to try to get these two first exercises into your system, into how you make the theater. So we just sketch uh, different scenes and different small plays. Okay, everybody ready? This story was about a girl which is preparing for the national celebration. The feedback that we took was like it is possible to make funny things but still considering from the children view, looking view, not the adults. It's okay to be to do funny things for kids, of course. And kids can handle that the fact that it's a, a story about you being put in a very bad position, but it's still funny. They, they understand that at the same time. Really, it's really good to do that exercise because then the participants also, it becomes clear to them where and what happens and where they fall into these traps and what they can be aware of when they continue their work. The idea of the child's perspective is that we need to work with finding the perspective of the child and, and, and telling the story from the child's perspective. Uh, that doesn't necessarily mean that you have to have a character that is a child on stage, but it means that you have to acknowledge who is in power and who is the powerless. And you need to side up with the powerless person and of course show it from, from their point of view. I feel super happy because this was something we, we started working on last year in December. Working with Unga Clara, we explored some different approaches, how we could work on children's theatre. I'm satisfied and I need more. If I would have a chance, I would certainly join to this workshop again. And I would ask more questions and I would need more time to do more. Obviously. We have a new network now. We know many people. We know that we all share the same interest of letting children and young people's theatre grow. I'm quite hopeful about the children's theatre in Turkey, but we, there's a long way to go and we have to work all together in this.